future is filled with challenges, some known, but many that we haven't even imagined yet. So I think the engineer of the future must be flexible and adaptable, and they should be able to communicate about their work with people from various industries and walks of life, not just other engineers. To be up to date on not only their own specialization, but also have a clear overview of the specializations of their colleagues and uh, those that are near to them. It's very important to be able to communicate with both the world of science and technology and society. I chose CDI because it was the perfect mix of both worlds, both communication studies and technical studies. It's allowed me to keep developing as a scientist while also becoming a science communication professional. When I enrolled, I didn't have a whole lot of expectations, but I did know that it was very case-driven, so you apply your knowledge on a project, often in a real-life setting. This was exactly what I was looking for, get into the real world, um, look at real issues, and, and try to, to solve them. I think the study really is what it says it is. Uh, you look at communication, innovation, and collaboration from different perspectives and approaches and really it gives you a well-rounded knowledge about the topic. Um, something unexpected about uh, this program has been learning about design thinking. I didn't know anything about it before I started the program and it's been really cool to learn about how we can create or improve communication processes through design thinking. Also, I didn't realize how closely linked the fields of design and innovation could be to communication. One thing that I didn't expect uh, up front is the uh, sense of community within the master program. It's a very small set of students uh, that join each year, uh, which creates a very informal environment in classrooms. Plus the team, the educational team is super small, so everybody knows everybody, and it really creates a very relaxed and fun atmosphere, which I think is really beneficial for these types of education in which you have a lot of group work and really have to interact with people uh, on a personal level a lot. What I like the most about this program is the fact that you learn a lot about real life issues and that you're trying to solve them, um, also in a multidisciplinary team. So you're working together with students from all kinds of studies. One thing I really like about the program is how much autonomy or freedom you get to really work on your projects. Not just your own projects uh, when you're working on your thesis, but also within uh, more defined cases where you get a whole lot of freedom and also trust from the lecturers to really work on something that can make a difference. My master thesis is about optimizing a multidisciplinary meeting uh, inside a teaching hospital that involves medical doctors and other healthcare providers who discuss several patient cases that involved complications. And the goal of these meetings is to see during this evaluation whether changes can be made to the care process to prevent uh, similar complications from happening to future patients. And my goal is to help the organizers and the participants to optimize the discussion and um, the research that is done prior to the meeting in order to get an accurate view of what kind of problems underlie these complications, systematic problems in the healthcare system or the hospital system that they're working in. It's pretty great to be able to integrate um, both master programs into one shared thesis because this allows me to draw from both the science communication field as well as the biomedical engineering field and all kinds of other fields. Um, not only from the knowledge base of my supervisors, but also from my own knowledge base that I built up throughout uh, both master programs. I would tell any incoming CDI student to keep an open mind. Uh, at first, the topics and the way of thinking that you learn during this master's program might seem unfamiliar, especially if you're coming from a very traditional engineering background. But it's really valuable to learn to understand the world from a different educational perspective. And uh, this program will really open your eyes in different ways.
Don't be scared to be creative and enjoy the process. Yeah, don't don't uh, get afraid if you can't see the bigger picture immediately up front. Um, that's not a problem. We all have that and um, just jump in because it's a lot of fun the process itself and in the end you will find that you have made a great product uh, that is very valuable to the organization you're working in or for so um, i'd say just go for it <laughs>